So I thought some interesting video, while I'm uh, a bit ill and can't actually make any juggling videos, it would be a little glimpse into the life of being a professional juggler and a, and a traveling juggler. So uh, I'm gonna pack my stuff into my case and show you what it's like to be a professional juggler on the road. Well, not on the road, flying, because that's the real tricky bit. First of all, you need a case, a flight case, and um, normally you, you need something that you can also use on stage. Stage, like if you're if you're doing like a full show, you want something that looks good on stage. So it looks, this looks pretty good. The thing is, these normal cases are really like they're, they're put together uh, not very well because they're all done with these rivets. So what you need to do, you need to modify your case so it's strong enough to use with with flying. So what I did is I took off all the edges and put on the stronger edges, and with lots of screws and things like that. The um, yeah, if you can see here as well. The, the, the handles on them as well, they used to be plastic handles on them, they just break off, so you need to put proper hand things on as well. The base of it, it needs to be a lot stronger, so you put in a, a, a different base in the bottom. And also, because you're using like a roller bowler on the top, um, because the actual material is made out of it warps a bit, you need it something like uh, strong, like another bit of wood on the top there. So when you do the roller bowler, it's got a smooth rolling surface. Now of course, a case you can't just leave it standing there, so of course, you get the uh, legs and these legs, one in each four corners, and these um, bolt onto the bottom, one in each corner, like that. And the bolts I use uh, over here. Pretty cool. So, also, I have this thing which is the uh, thing that goes on the bottom of the legs. You know, the people under, underneath what? What? might be asleep by now. We're in an apartment, we've got some people underneath us. So, that goes in first. The next thing that goes in, of course, is the roller bowler board. Now, this is specially designed so it fits in the back. There. No mirrors, no strings no attached. No strings attached. Yeah, my pole is knowing my show here off by heart. The next thing that we can put in is, of course, the roller bowler tube itself. Now, we can do that, and this is specially designed so the Diablo fits in the middle. But the thing is, because I have these. Um, three juggling bean bags. I always put these on the bottom like this. Maybe if you bring the camera over and I put that down like that and then I put this over the top like that. And then what I have is lots of juggling bean bags. I've got um, eight juggling bean bags that go in there. I don't juggle eight at a time. I juggle seven on stage normally. Finally, I have lots of ping pong balls because I do ping pong ball juggling, not in the mouth because that's disgusting. I, um, I instead use the uh, table tennis bat. Next up I have these these bits of wood which are, which normally go inside the uh, the roller bowler tube to strengthen it either side. So that goes in there like that. What do we have next? Oh yeah, next up I actually get these um, these four legs. Put, put those in there like that. Maybe if you want to bring this a bit closer so people can have, actually have a, a look inside. Uh, then you have the knives, not just four knives. You have the five juggling knives. They also go down in there like that as well. Next up, you'll have like the other Diablo. You've got um, clubs, five juggling clubs. And I'm starting to use the um, the play one piece clubs because they're really light and that's really important when you're traveling around. And they well. are really ugly. And what? Nothing. They, they are really ugly as well. Yeah, but, uh, but you can't see when but it's also a bit of a distance. The, yeah, because of the distance it doesn't matter. But also they, they stand upright like this. Because I used to have this thing on the front where I'd hang the clubs up. But now I can stand them up on the stage and I can put them in different places on stage. And that's also quite... Didn't uh, you say in another right. podcast never put up clubs on stage? Yeah, but these really do stand up well. Because okay. they, they really do. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, in, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, this can go in here as well. Uh, what else we I hope everything this, is going yeah, in there. Course, most things will fit in there. This is a pen, which is always handy if you ever need a mark. And it needs a lot of space, so yeah. make sure you Spare put it into the right string, place. White tape as well, very important. This, for when you're traveling, this is actually very important because you never know quite what you're going to get on the other side. So this is my international travel kit. Oh. And uh, yeah, so you, you always have um, plugs for pretty much everywhere in the world. And I'm going to Africa this, on this trip, and I don't really know You'll what drop it again. Kind of plugs that they have in Africa. There. Two Diablo strings. Always take two Diablo stuff and props. One and like spare. That. Always have spares. This is actually something new. It's a um, a walking stick. Now I don't normally take this with me, but I want to develop a routine with my hat because I always take my hat with me and I use it for one trick in a show. Um, so I'm just gonna give that a go. We're actually developing some more stuff. This is also something I always carry with me because it doesn't. Uh, don't yawn, Holly. Uh, so <laughs> say, this is if I ever need to do a thing with a spinning ball, I can give this to someone to spin a ball on the top. I don't normally use that, normally for street show kind of stuff. This is a net which I have on the back of my back for a routine. You can see that on YouTube, that routine. That can fit in there like that. Um, this is the music. Now, you always have a music in the case and always put some tape around it because if you put the, one of these in a box without the tape on it, they can often pop out and your CD won't last two minutes without something like that. So the eight inch juggling balls. Eight inches, which of course is a joke that I do, not very um, 
Uh, not a very innocent joke, but you know, you ask your girlfriend. My girlfriend used to say that when they were confused. Whatever. And uh, then you have the rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings. Sometimes I take eight, but I think I only need seven this time round. This is the um, the bolts for the bottom of the bag. This stuff is uh, other stuff I'm performing with. I have my makeup. Uh, which I put on my face to cover up my spots. Um, I have... Uh, because of the unhealthy food on yes. the ships? <laughs> this is actually a really cool little thing. It's a little shoe shiner. So what you do is, before the show, I, I go and I, and I can shine up the shoes. Maybe it probably doesn't come on very well, but it, it makes them nice and shiny. Maybe you can see that a bit better. Although I really need to do the fronts of these shoes. I'll go to a shoe shine place when I'm next. Let's see, what else do I have in here? I have a thumb tip for no reason, but it's not funny. Uh, clippers. For no reason, because Sandlon. you just <laughs> bite them nibble in. them. Sandlon, which is good if you ever cut yourself, put this on there, it heals up really quickly. That's what he says, and he trusts in that. And of course the, uh, the, the, the tweezers, which is good for doing Before. all kinds of stuff. Especially uh, here, because if I don't pluck here, I get a sort of a, a one eyebrow. So I do pluck, yes, I wear makeup and pluck my own eyebrow. So uh, the, um, the tennis ball I can, that can go in there like that. I have a bag which uh, sometimes I carry over my shoulder, sometimes I use this as my second bag when I'm travelling. But this time, because I'm going to be away for a long time, I want a bag that I can carry my laptop around with me when I go off the cruise ship, or just around the cruise ship to put my swimming stuff in and things like that. And a bag like that comes in really handy, it doesn't weigh anything. So that can go on the top there like that. Finally, this is the, the other bit of thing which goes on the back of the case. So what happens is that in different parts of the show, when I finish with something, instead of putting it back in the box and messing it up, I, this is on the back here, and I can just drop something in there. For example, at the end of the show, I'm standing on this box with the roller bowl with knives in my hand. So I drop them into the back of the net rather than having and to give them to people. And they rip the black so they rip the bag. So this, this goes on the top of here like this which is really cool. Uh, I said I wasn't going to fit. There's other bits and pieces like the camera tripod that go in there as well, but that's pretty much all of that bag there like that. Now hopefully this will close down, although I packed it a bit quicker than normal that time. Hopefully, yeah, so anyway. Stop. So that will like close. That yeah. And I really like that yeah. bit. Anyways. Maybe there's one on the other side. I don't know. Oh yeah, there I, it is. I don't know. There's, there's something <laughs> that's stopping this closing exactly like it, as easy as it normally is. But normally that closes down. Now the cool thing is, is because this is now um, around about, when I do this, it's around about 23 kilograms. And 23, <laughs> yeah, okay, but around about 23 kilograms is good because they normally allow you about 21, 22 kilograms. And if you're just two kilograms over the thing, ah, uh, don't worry about it. The other thing that you need to use for not being charged is to go on airlines. And if you've got a frequent flyer card, what you do, you give them the frequent flyer card before you put this on. And then because they see you're a frequent flyer, they know, ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter if he's a few kilograms over. Next, of course, you put a strap around that, and then you've got your wheels. Wheels are very important for taking this kind of thing through the, the, um, the, uh, uh, the airports and things like that, so you don't actually have to bother carrying it. The thing is, what I do, I have this on the wheels, and then, when I don't want the wheels anymore, um, or when I don't want to carry this and I put it on, I don't have to fit these wheels in there, it doesn't need to be strapped to it all the time, because that'll just break straight away. Um, so what I do, I take this off, and then I actually use my other case, and I put the wheels underneath the other case. Even though these have got wheel, this other case has got wheels already, it doesn't matter. Um, I just go on, so this is my one piece of hand luggage. Um, in here, I have, of course, my shoes for this gig as well, my hat, which is a clap hat, which is pretty good. Again, I don't actually use this, but I want to maybe learn how to juggle that a bit better. In here as well, I have my, uh, my performing uh, suit, my tuxedo and uh, stop yawning, buddy. And uh, oh, this sorry. is um, this. I, I got this tailored for me when I was in Hong Kong. Um, it cost quite a bit of money, but it's very worth it for actually a suit that fits you and looks really good on stage. Because I'm really tall and thin, and uh, and having a suit that fits me is actually quite difficult just to buy um, non-tailored. And also, this is um, non-creasing material. So this has actually been sitting out in the car for a long time, and I'll just hang it up when I get into the cruise ship, and it'll sit there for a few hours, and then I can go on stage. And it's, it's really worth paying. I should paying get it. a dress like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's really worth paying the extra dollars, the extra euros to uh, get non creasing clothes. So that's there as well. And of course, the last thing that I use for performing is my coat, because I have a routine where I juggle my coat. And of course, because it's always nice to have a coat with you when you're traveling, because you're never quite sure where you're going to be going. Um, although this time I'm going to um, Africa and Madagascar and things like that, so I probably won't need my coat. But when I get back to Berlin at the end of this trip, I definitely will need my coat. Obviously, everything goes in here, and all the rest of my clothes go in here. And then my laptop goes in here, in the front. So if ever I get there and they say, oh, this is too heavy to uh, take on as hand luggage, and I say, oh, my laptop's in the front, I, don't, I, can't, take, I can't put it in the hold because it's got my laptop in there. They go, oh, okay, you better take it in as, as hand luggage then. This is how you, um, that's what you have to do to travel, and of course, lots of other things go in here as well, but uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks cool. for watching. No problem. <laughs>
Thanks for filming. Bye. Credit to the boat. <laughs>